It's one thing to be talented enough to be Hall of Fame worthy in just one sport. It's quite rare to have accomplished enough to be Hall of Fame worthy in two sports. But that perfectly describes our first inductee. He was born on October 10, 1950 in New York City. He would later move to Lake Worth, Florida, then West Palm Beach. He studied karate in the early 1970s before earning a black belt and entering the sport of kickboxing. In a remarkable career, he won five world championships while competing in four different weight classes. He was named Fighter of the Year by Official Karate Magazine in 1982. Stepped out of kickboxing in 1999 with a final record of 50 wins, five losses, 27 knockouts. At that point, he had made South Florida the kickboxing capital of the world. He was also the first fighter in kickboxing to draw over $1 million in gate receipts. But he was just getting going in the fight business. He decided to add boxing to his resume, and it turned out pretty well for everybody. He opened up a boxing and kickboxing center in West Palm Beach, and world boxing and kickboxing champions from all over the world. He would train, manage, and promote over 200 state Golden Gloves national and world champions, both professional and amateur. His training center turned out to be a destination for some of the biggest names in boxing to train, including Oscar De La Hoya, Zab Judah, Michael Moore, Dave Luter, David Tua, Kasim Uma, and many, many more. He also trained Lena Akerson from her first days as an amateur all the way to being the number one ranked professional contender in the world. His story will also be very soon up on the big screen. A movie about his incredible life is currently in production by the same producers that brought us the film The Fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame Class of 2017, promoter, trainer, and fighter, Steve Shepard. What do you say? It's I um, I really don't have the the skills to uh, properly uh, explain the emotions uh, involved. It's personal, and um, I'm not really good at that. I can just say that it's uh, it's stunning. Really, it's uh, it encapsulates. Uh, one's life. I, uh, I, I, I would never have imagined uh, something like this happening when I first began. Well, hell, even at the end, it was, it's difficult to, uh, you know, I probably thought I was good, but uh, to be in the Hall of Fame, especially boxing. Uh, I was primarily a kickboxer myself as a fighter, but Kickboxing is boxing plus you kick. It's not a martial art thing. It's boxing plus you kick. And uh, with that um, attitude, I guess, uh, I, I learned about to train at the Fifth Street Gym for, I don't know, 12 years, 10 years. Uh, my chief corner person was Mac Goodman, uh, uh, a member of the Florida Hall of Fame. Uh, who was, and also uh, I trained, uh, I spent years with Angelo Dundee, got great, uh, 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 he, great ideas. Uh, he, he was a teacher, and uh, he taught me how to teach. And uh, his brother Chris helped me with, uh, with my promotions when I, when I started promoting. And I'll, I'll tell you about one fight I did in uh, uh, 1990 
uh, Russia versus U.S. at the West Palm Beach Auditorium. Sold the place out, 6,000 tickets uh, against Russia versus the U.S. The uh, Russian team consisted of uh, sort of a well-known heavyweight in, in boxing, Vitaly Klitschko. And he, he was kickboxing. And uh, he fought... Uh, Another guy that some people have heard of, uh, James Waring, uh, who was a kickboxer at the time. James used to, f I used to promote several of James, I have promoted several of James's fights, and he also ended up refereeing uh, some of my fights. So uh, they, he fought, uh, they fought a five rounder, and this is Vitaly Klitschko kickboxing. And he got beat <laughs> by James Waring. It was uh, a, an amazing thing. We, of course, we didn't know it then. Anyway, um, you know, uh, I, I had so many people that were uh, gracious enough to work with me. Jim Waldrop was my matchmaker for 20 years. Dr. Alan Fields uh, started his career with me. Um, he's... He must have been our doctor for 20 years. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you very much.